Hello, Professor Morgan here showing you some cool stuff with Moodle 4. Point something. This is again being recorded December 2023. So, um, what I've done already so for this course is I have set up the dates uh, to go Monday through Sunday. I have uh, set up my gradebook. And now I'm going to set up my attendance. Now, if you have attendance as part of your grades, you really should set up your grade book first. And on you, it'll make sense in just a second, okay? If your grades are, if your attendance is not part of your grades, then it doesn't really matter if you do this, your grade book first. I, I always set up my grade book first anyway. Okay, so to set up attendance, what we're going to do is, um, well, let me make sure, so make sure that we can toggle edit mode. I had it on before. So right now it's off. And how I can tell the edit mode is off is that um, if I scroll down here, it doesn't say I can add anything. But if I toggle it on, okay, all of a sudden it's like, ooh, I got a little pencil here. And like, oh, I can add activities. Cool. All right, so I want to add attendance. So I'm going to go ahead and click and add activity or resource. Okay. Now you can save some of your favorite activities and resources by starring them which I've done um, and if you want to look at all the different things you click on all and you're like oh look there's all sorts of different things you can do here um, so we're going to set up attendance so we're just going to click on attendance here okay boom there we go alrighty so the first thing I'm going to do is um, again it's part of my grade book so I'm going to go to grade and what kind of grade category should it be so I set up a bunch of categories ahead of time when I click on this I can see there's attendance oh that's why I set my grade book up first because it's whatever. Now, if if attendance is not part of your grades, then you don't have to worry about that. I'll save that and return to the course. Uh, again, so now we're going to do some other fun things with attendance. That just uh, creates it, but it hasn't really set it up, really. So we've just created like, okay, we wanted to do attendance. Now we need to give it some specifics. Okay, so the first thing I would check before you do anything else is, again, if you're using grades as part of, uh, I mean, attendance as part of your grades, what I would do is I go to the more and go to the status set right here, okay, because it'll show you, uh, this may be set up by your school, okay, so, you know, at this, you know, particular institution, Present is worth two points, excuse is worth two points, late is worth one point, and absence is worth zero points, okay? And uh, so you want to make sure this is set up the way that you want to set it up, okay? Um, and again, check with your, your uh, the folks that set this up, you know, check with your folks to make sure that you should be messing with this or not, but just be aware that it's there, okay? But uh, so let's go back to attendance here, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to add some sessions. Um, like when does the class actually meet? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on Add Session. And we're going to say that this class starts on, we know it starts on January the 10th of 2024. Make sure you put the correct year in. Super important. And let's say this class meets from 11 to and again this uses military time so if it was in the afternoon it'd be over there 1150 okay 50. we 1150 okay now it's that we can just create one class at a time but that would be a major headache so what we wanted to do is that we say hey this class actually meets every monday wednesday and friday okay and now this this right here repeat every one week so if this class meets like every week then that would just stay at one week let's say it meets one week and then it has a week off and then it meets another week and then whatever uh generally you don't monkey with this just leave this alone okay and then it just so happens that i know the last day of class is when is the last day of class let me just check over on my other thing do, do, do. Okay, da, da, looks like the 2nd of May. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this until the 2nd of May. And again, make sure that we're using the correct year. Okay, alrighty. And uh, allow students to record their own attendance. <laughs> uh, no, why? Why? I don't know. I, again, I, that's up to you. That's up to you. Okay, so now we're just setting this up. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it's going to start on January 10th, and it's going to go to May 2nd. Okay, so now we hit Add. Okay. 
Do, do, do. And now you will see as I've clicked on all, it shows all of these classes. Wow, how cool is that? All the way to the very end. And when I go to take attendance, I would click on the little arrow button and that would take me to how do I take attendance. However, we're not quite done yet because we're actually not going to meet on all of these days. So if I look at my academic calendar, which is on a different screen, I just it just so happens that I know that on the 15th, that's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we will not be having class that day. Um, and then what else we have? Uh, let's see. We've got spring break is going to be these days. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And then, oh, Easter is in March this year. So this, this school gets these days off. Okay. Anyway, so you select the days that uh, you, you know that you're not going to be meeting. Okay, so we're not, we're not going to be meeting on Martin Luther King Day or, or Spring Break or on Easter Break. Okay, and then the ones that I've, I've clicked over here, I can go down here to choose and hit delete and then hit OK. And this is, hey, are you sure you want to delete these? I'm like, uh, let me double check. Yeah, those are the days I want. So then I'm going to hit continue. And then those days are they're 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 gone. Okay, let's just say for uh, uh, one day you wake up dead, and you can't go to school. Well, maybe not dead, but you're not feeling well, or something happens where you have to cancel class. You can always just you know on any particular day you can just hit like this you know delete this session. Let's say on this Friday there was uh, you know some sort of activity that the students were doing and they couldn't come to class or, or whatever. Or I got, you know, sick as a teacher or whatever. Okay, so just to delete any session, delete, and then say, are you sure you want to delete this class? And I'll be like, yeah, I want to do that. I, I really don't want to do that right now. But okay, and that is how you set up your attendance. So then you'll notice on the left-hand side here, um, this, we have how we can get to announcements really easily, or we can go to attendance. And the more that we add, the more things are just going to pop up over here on the left-hand side. And again, we can always close this if we don't want to see it, or we can see it. Or we can always just go back to the class, the, the front of the class by going up here and clicking on that. And that takes us back to the top of the class. Okay, so again, now when, when I click on attendance, and you know, once I get into it, I can actually say, "Hey, what are we doing?" I can just set it up by week. So as it as we get through that week, let's I'll show you. Okay, so like when the hat when it just magically happens that we're in this week, it'll actually just show the the days that we're meeting for that week. Okay, or you you can look at all. It's really how you want to do it. Okay, and that is attendance in Moodle four point something. All right, there you go. Thanks.